I have a question for black women. I had a conversation earlier today with a couple of women, one black woman, one white woman, and the topic of abortion came up. And the first thing these women jumped on was, a man cannot tell a woman what to do with her body. And they were referring to having the right to murder their own, their own unborn child. But then the question came up in my mind. You find black females are always talking about how much of a deadbeat most black men are. They're quick to tell a black man that you don't take care of your children. You are man enough to make these kids, be man enough to take care of these kids. You walked out on your kids. But my question to you is, which is worse? Walking out on your children or aborting your children before they're even given the chance to live? Now, the discussion started with this black female saying that she met her mother for the first time. She got in touch with her moms for the first time because her mother had put her up for adoption. And I find it quite interesting because you have black females that would put their children up for adoption at a very young age, never take the time out or don't have, is not curious enough to look for their child. Not only did they put their child up for adoption, but they never took the time to look for their kids. You know what I mean? So this young lady is an adult now, and now she's taking the initiative to find her mother, not her mother trying to find her. I had asked this young lady, I said, now, do you feel some kind of way knowing because she said that, you know, she went through some things uh, throughout life and uh, one thing, one question she had for her moms was, why did she get rid of her? And I asked her, I said, do you feel some kind of way knowing that your moms gave you up at birth? And she said, well, she could have aborted me. So I'm thinking like, so it's easy for you to forgive your moms, but it's hard for you to forgive your dad if this was the case because you have a lot of black females that are angry with their father, they're angry with men because their father wasn't there when they were growing up. So even if the father takes the initiative to try to find and connect with the daughter, the daughter is still going to have a grudge against him, still gonna question, well, why weren't you there? You could have did this and you could have done that. You could have did this, you could have did this, and she found it completely hard to forgive him. But the mother put her up for adoption, never took the initiative to try to find her. She finds her moms and then forgives her moms. Just go strictly according to what the moms say. Oh, I had a hard time. I was scared, yada, yada, yada. Okay, mom, I forgive you. It's just that easy. So, Females love to justify aborting their children. There's so much um, birth control that's out there. There's so many methods out there to prevent you from getting pregnant, but instead of taking those preventive measures, you still do the things that adults do, get pregnant, and then just go get rid of your child. But if the man says, that he's not ready to have a child, then she comes back with, well, you should have thought about that before you laid down with me. You was man enough to do this. She had all these things to say about this man because he says, I'm not ready for a child. And then because she chose to keep the child. Now, keep in mind, 
I'm strongly against abortions. I'm pro-life. But let's just be fair here. If she can say it's my body and I can get rid of this child, then that man should be able to say, I don't want to take care of this child. And you don't take him to court for child support. So he wants a child. You get rid of the child because it's your body and no one can tell you what to do with your body. But then he tells you, I'm not ready for a child, but yet you got to step up to the plate and be a man and support me for the rest of my life. Now, it's not so much as the child that's being that, that you have to support, but let's be real. It's usually the female because she's going to take that child support money and apply it towards her, not that child. And the judge would tell you, quick, you know, we're here to get this woman some money. Right. So. So I want to ask the black females out there. What's worse? You aborting your child at birth or the father not being there to take care of his kids, the father leaving the home, leaving the nest, leaving you to raise these child, these children alone. What's worse? You being left alone to raise these kids or you aborting these kids? Who's worse, the guy or you? Because at least the man didn't kill the child. But you did. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.